I'm here again. Let's sort it out with Uma. Today, I'll be talking about food technology as an in-demand job in the UK. I got this question from someone in from another channel where I commented. So the person was asking me if food technology. <laughs> Okay, I'll just continue. Like, I don't have my video, that's exactly what I did, but I just continue. Yeah. <laughs> Let me not fail very well. Sorry. <laughs> so I can be ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it an in demand job in the UK? Is it a part of this shortage job in the UK? Well, it's not a shortage job in the UK, but it's in demand. It's a very good course. Today, we're going to be talking about food science and technology, what you can do with it. It is a very good course, if you should consider it, if you can use it to come to the UK. So let's dive into it. So what is food technology? Well, um, I'm going to be using my phone because I made some notes on the phone. It's not my area of specialty, but someone asked this question from another channel and I decided to do the research and give you guys the information because so many people don't, there do not know it. I've actually covered, as a teacher, I've actually covered Food science and technology and trust me is an is a very interesting course and it's actually when i came to this uk that i realized that it's very important you know back, back home in africa nigeria and other um, african countries these courses we don't really we kind of take all these courses for granted but all these courses we take for granted in like in in our hometown in our countries they are actually very relevant here and food science and technology is one of the very one of the very great courses here in the uk that is highly valued high, highly respectable in fact in this uk all the courses are being offered in the uk are highly respectable any job here is highly respectable all the jobs we call we call menial jobs back home people respect it here they want it because you get paid that is what matters so we're going to look into food science and technology and it will help you make a decision if you're going to go into it or not okay let's get into it first of all masters in food technology um, in the UK is a branch of science that deals with the techniques involved in food product manufacturing, processing, st storage, packing, labeling, quality control and distribution. <laughs> you want to edit it? Okay. <laughs> I'm still laughing, it's still on. So studying food technology opens many doors for you. You have many opportunities. You can work in restaurants, catering establishments, hospitals, food processing companies. Uh, studying food science and technology, it opens a number of dots opportunities for you, like designing the newest food items to reach the grocery store shelves in a Tesla lab. That, uh, that is actually amazing to be honest. There are so many products here in the UK, all parts of the world. There are so many tin foods, milk, tomato, fruits, there are so many of them and even if you're not the one designing them, you can actually check, be the quality control person in there, okay? It's a very good one. Okay, having said that, the most important thing now is for what are the job opportunities as a food science technologist in the UK. Now let's let's get into what, what they are. From my research here, the job opportunities as a food technology could be research and development, as food scientists, food technologists, food uh, chemists, product development specialists, awesome. quality control and assurance, which includes food chemists, food inspector, toxicologist. Um, this particular one, I know a friend's auntie that does that, and she works from home. She just visits the sites once in a while and then writes her report. So it's, it's another smart job. I remember one of the videos I made about how you can work smart, you know, how you can choose a career, a job to work smart. This is one of those areas, one of those professions you can actually work smart. So, and she makes a lot of money. She stays at home making money from home. And she's working from home, not because of the COVID or anything. They, uh, they she, She's kind of used to working from home ever before the COVID thing happened. So yeah. And uh, food processing, which includes food, you become a food processor, process manufacturing specialist, food production manager, and also even in areas like management and research, it's a very diverse profession you can find yourself in. 
that will actually give you future proof because food, Everyone needs food. food is being manufactured every day on a daily basis we all survive because of food so if you're that person that can actually control the quality of what human beings eat come on you're actually doing something very good human human in terms of humanitarian so yeah it's a very good one let's talk about the average salary in the uk if you have masters in information technology so the average salary in the uk after you have your masters in food technology is guess what guess what guess what Yeah, thirty-eight thousand pounds per random. Woo! That is amazing, and this is average. So you could if you're earning forty-five, fifty, it depends. Like I have a cousin, though she's not here, she's in the states. Yeah, she is making six figures as a food science and technologist, quality control. She's making six figures. If you, if you do it here and then decide to relocate, you now you sh now you know is a profession that can take you anywhere and you can make lots of money. It is in demand. Though it's not in shortage demand in the UK, but it's in demand, which means you can easily find jobs in that kind of sector. Now let's check university UK universities that offers food technology food science and technology. So I came up with seven schools that offer MSc in food science and technology. And one of them is University of, University of Nottingham. It offers MSc in food process engineering. Another one is University of Reading, MSc in food technology, quality assurance specialty. University of Lincoln, MSc in agri-food technology. University of Lincoln again, MSc in Agri-Food Technology uh, with Professional Practice. Cardiff Metropolitan University, MSc in Food Science and Technology. Teesside University, MSc in Food Processing Engineering. Teesside University, MSc in Food Processing Engineering with Advanced Practice. And another good thing is, you can actually get schools that offer food science and technology with placement. You know, any course that has placement in it, that means you're sure you're going to get a job afterwards. So that is why I always advise people, whatever course you're going to do in the UK or any other part of the, uh, the world, make sure it's got placement because that placement will give you experience. And if you have experience, it, it makes it easier. It makes it easier for you to enter the, uh, that industry. Um, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to do another, another video listing the courses in, you can do in the UK that gives you opportunity to do placement or what we, we call internship. So MSc Food Technology Replacement in the UK, I'm going to give you, call, give you names of the um, universities that actually give placement. And here, University of Lincoln give placement. The MSc in Agri Food Technology with professional practice, so they'll give you opportunity to do placement, and the placement is after 12 months. When you finish the course, then you do um, placement for one year, which is great. Then Cardiff Met Metropolitan University, they also give placement, and Teesside University, they give placement. So it's very important you consider placement when you if you if you want to apply for this expense you accept you know you already have loads of experience but remember even if your experience is back home yeah if you're coming to the uk um it might be quite difficult for you to get a job if you don't have uk experience because they always prefer people that have uk experience and that's because they always prefer a people that understands the culture of the uk so I would advise that you go for um, MSc Food Technology in a school that will offer you placement. At least you know you're sure of getting a job. Now, let's look at top ranked food technology universities in UK. They are University of Nottingham is, is ranked very high, University of Reading, University of Lincoln, Cardiff Metropolitan University and Teesside University. Best university in UK for um, food technology masters are as follows. University of Lincoln, Cardiff Metropolitan University, Teesside University, University of Nottingham, University of Reading, University of Cardiff Metropolitan University. Having mentioned all these universities, you may be asking what are the requirements? Just like every other course, there, are, there is always a requirement for you to be able to enter. But um, for food science and technology, you need to have experience. That is the only difference from most other courses. You need to have experience professionally or maybe you have it 
BSc in food management or in food science. For this experience, if you are going to apply to any school, my advice would be for you to actually research on those schools and find out their requirement that they need. If you can't find all the information you need on from their website, just ring up um, the admission team or send them an email or contact them, just contact them and inquire more from them. They are always willing to answer and help. Is there an English requirement for food science and technology course? Of course, if you're, if you're coming from a country that is not that... <laughs> of course, if you're coming from a country that the first language is not English, then you'd be expected to at least pass the TOEFL or IELTS. But, um... <laughs> there are schools that offer a food science and technology without IELTS. Let's check out the schools. One of the schools are University of Reading, University of Lincoln, Cardiff Metropolitan University, Teesside University. So these schools, they can offer you MSc in Food Science and Technology without else. But like I said, it's always good to make an inquiry from the school admissions team, check their website and see what is required and know if it's what you've got or what you need to prepare. What is this tuition fee for Food Science and Technology? Like always, Tuition fee differs from different schools, so this is what you're going to research and see. But the average I saw for in for in-state students, that's for home students, is eleven thousand pounds, and the average for international students is twenty thousand pounds. So this is the information you need to search for when you choose any school that you want, and then research and find out the tuition fee they offer because they all have different tuition. Okay. Is there any scholarship for food science and technology students? Of course, there's always scholarship for any course that you're, you're trying to take in the UK. And but most of the time, this scholarship goes out to high academic students, students that are very capable, students that are very smart, or students with financial difficulty and are, and are smart. So let's look into schools that offer scholarship in food science and technology. Universities offer scholarship. For food science and technology are Cardiff Metropolitan University and is the, of, the scholarship they offer is called Vice Chancellor Scholarship. Teesside University, the, of, the scholarship they offer is Vice um, Chancellor Scholarship, early payment discount as well. Then University of Lincoln, they offer Global Postgraduate Scholarship. And also they offer Lincoln Alumni MSc Social Work Scholarship. I guess this is for social work, just in case you want to do social work. So you can see University of Lincoln can give you a scholarship on that. Um, they also offer 50% global scholarship. Then University of Nottingham offers UK International Postgraduate Excellence Award and South Asia Postgraduate Excellence Award. Obviously this is for, for South Asian students. I hope this information I've brought to you today has actually <laughs> well I hope this information I've brought to you today has helped you decide if you're going to take choose uh, food science and technology as a course as a career so if you like helping people if you like me if you are interested in food if you love food and if you like provide making sure that what we eat is healthy then this is for you why not get into it and as you can see you can actually use it to settle in the uk especially for the fact that you have you can get placement internship in it when you get placement internship that means that you can actually secure a job easily even before you graduate so if you haven't been thinking about food technology i think you should start thinking about it now and start researching on these schools i have mentioned now and get applying and i'll see you soon in the uk when you come into the uk don't forget to holler at your girl okay if you like this video please smash that like button share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time thank you very much for listening and bye